la moindre des choses, it's the English title, the French title for every little thing, which is not, well, um, the, a few words about the origins of the film, maybe. Um, before I made, made a film in Le Louvre, and maybe we talk about it a bit later, but, and then a film, um, Le Pays des Sourds, In the Land of the Deaf, which was a film um, I loved to, to, to make because for two reasons. Um, the idea was to, to show another uh, vision of deaf people who are most of the time considered as <coughs> poor handicapped people and uh, which means pity, etc. Compassion, pitié. Uh, and I wanted to re to to renverse uh, reverse the, the the image, the um, the idea we have <coughs> of these people, showing them in their dignity, showing them in in their with their language, which is a uh, before making the, the film, I thought that sign language was a sort of under language. And I discovered that it was as nuanced, as rich as any other language, able, capable to, to express all the nuances, all the fields, uh, abstractions, etc., with the hands and face. Uh, and I started to uh, understand that it was the most cinematic language because you uh, represent in space um, and when you t uh, want to, to tell a story the, the, the people, who, the, the person who signs um, will place in, in, in space all the, uh, the protagonists of the story etc the way he turns his own body, uh, this very cinematic dimension of, of um, sign language. Um, <coughs> I, I give you a, an, ex an example, you understand. Um, some linguists have compared sign language to le, le, la, le langage du cinéma. And some of them uh, have shown that it's much more uh, like cinema language than oral, any oral language. If I want to say yesterday, I uh, went to, um, uh, j'ai fait une promenade en vélo, it will be something like yesterday. <laughs> so, here, uh, you have, là, vous avez un plan général. Ça, c'est un vélo. That's a bike. That's a plan général. This is me. I'm up and then. So, un gros plan. If it's in mountain, it will be like this, okay? So, I was really interested in, in that dimension of, uh, of deaf language, deaf culture, um, and that's why I made that film, um, avec beaucoup de, 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 de passion. A lot of passion. And a, a, a few months later, some friends told me, Nicolas, you should go to this clinic, psychiatric, in La Borde, yes, please. <laughs> it's a place for you. <laughs> for me, this. Well, I didn't want to. Uh, the idea of making a film in such a place where people are suffering, uh, where they want to be quiet, if they are in this place, maybe they 
escape, try to, to escape from the family, the problems, the, well, the, the, uh, what does it mean to go in such a place like a psychiatric clinic with a, with a, with a camera? It's, uh, it's not, it's not, la souffrance, suffering, c'est pas, c'est pas du spectacle, it's not, it's not a spectacle. C'est pas un spectacle. Uh, so I said, no, 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 to these friends. These friends had worked in, in the place. Yes, you should go. No. Yes, no. During like eight or nine, nine months, uh, they insisted, uh, trying to push me to go there, and I didn't want. I had scruples, deep scruples. Uh, <laughs> um, and finally, because they were still pushing, I decided to go there for a weekend. And I have told that story many, many times, and maybe you heard it, uh, or you read it, but um, I arrived in the clinic, and I was first received by the founder, founder and director of the place. And the man said, okay, you are coming to make a film here? No, 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 no. <laughs> I just visiting you and, uh, well, uh, and he, start, he started to explain me a few, the, the, the story of the, this place, which is very special. It's a special clinic. It's not, it's not, it's, it's very singular. Um, so it, he started to, talk about it and after one half a minute I said please don't tell me anything about it I don't want to know okay okay <laughs> so um, we went for a walk and he introduced me to uh, a patient to uh, uh, we want to see the horses etc etc <coughs> talking about La pluie et le beau temps, j'ai pas le... And after two hours, he said, okay, I, I, I have understood, I, don't, I know you, you, you don't know yet if you are going to make a film here, but I, if I can say something, uh, please consider that here, there's nothing to see. Ici, il a rien à voir. There is nothing to see here. So the day you uh, will, um, you want to make a, a, a film about invisible, you will, you, you be welcome. When you say something like this to any filmmaker, <laughs> of course, uh, the f he, <laughs> So I decided to make the film, but not after this sentence, a bit later. Um, I continued to visit the place. I talked to some of them, uh, smoked a cigarette and had coffee, and people, they, they were asking me, are oh, you make films? Are you coming to make a film here? And I talked about my scruples, and they said, OK, vous avez peur de, sans doute, de nous instrumentaliser, mm -hmm. mais on va vous aider. On va... On est fou. <laughs> on n'est pas idiot. On va vous aider à euh, faire le film. On ne va pas se laisser euh, instrumentaliser. On ne va pas vous laisser faire n'importe quoi. Et en gros, ils m'ont proposé de me confronter à, mes, à ma peur. Et j'ai décidé de, finalement de faire ce film pour, me, pour essayer de, voilà, de, de, de dépasser ma peur et, de, et, et, et tous ces scrupules que j'avais.